guys it's me again sound the artist okay um my skin isn't doing so well but that just means i have to continue to take care of it as i have been doing so skincare skincare time so um for this video i'm gonna be doing my skincare and i like doing these videos i like doing these videos because i can do my self-care and i can hang out with you guys so first things first the face wash that i always use so today is the first day out of like the past week or so that i actually feel healthy energized i was very sick like a like a few days ago i got a sore throat and then my period came and the cramps were unbearable it made things much worse so glad that's over aggressively wash his face <laughs> this is serious business i can't have my face card declining with dark spots and bumps no I've also been drinking more water because I honestly feel like that's why my period was so bad. It's because, probably because I haven't been drinking enough. But I drank like mad bottles of water yesterday and then today I feel great. Sometimes I just forget that I'm dehydrated. I don't know what to talk about i'm not in my um i'm not in my um talking era right now i'm in my creativity era so like after this video probably tonight i'm gonna make some art because i'm not in my I didn't have a topic. But I really want to talk about something controversial. And I'm going to do it. So, I, I, I like to talk about, like, black women stuff. Because, um... Okay. Okay. 
it's so weird it's so weird trying to talk about black women stuff because as a black woman i have a lot of opinions about like what it is to be a black woman and the things that i feel are weird and the things that i feel are uncomfortable and the things that i feel are good i have opinions on all those things but just the topic itself just makes me uncomfortable because it's like it's like i don't know i don't know it's just like why as a human being do i feel this way about my identity but it's really not my fault it's not my fault it's the world's fault but i know that like some of my comments and some of my point of views are really are like controversial like could ruffle some feathers so that's why i would rather not say a lot of stuff but um the one thing i will say is that it's very dehumanizing it's very dehumanizing to expect black women to not be upset it's very dehumanizing to expect black women to get treated how we do and not be upset it's very dehumanizing like i bet nobody whoever i bet people don't even like think about like if they were in our shoes how they would feel because because we don't get humanized like that we really don't it's like we're not even human and we're probably like and the truth is like the way we don't fit in so much we probably are like an extraterrestrial dog on it we probably are like an extraterrestrial species of human like the way that we just don't fit in to society we do fit into society but it takes more effort it takes more effort there's more obstacles and you're more likely to feel like you don't fit in as a black woman than anything else Like, why is it that we're not allowed to be, let me fix my bra so my, I, why are we not allowed to be upset about things that affect us, about society, about our men who do not respect us or stand up to us stand up for us or even speak on like it would be so much different if we got support from the group the one group that should be supporting us like oh black women experience these issues and that's not okay but nobody does that. Actually, like, there are a few people who, like, use their platform to uplift Black women and stuff like that. But it's mostly us doing it by ourselves. So, I feel like in every, in every chance I get, I'm going to send positive energy but 
especially to black women because our experiences are so unique the pain that we feel is so unique to us and it doesn't get validated even though it is valid like oh my gosh i feel like I'm just feeling in my gut that a black woman watching this right now needs to hear this. Your anger, your anger that you feel about the fact, about like things being unfair and very imbalanced when it comes to us in society, the support being imbalanced, representation being imbalanced when it comes to black women, your frustration when it comes to that is valid is valid and you're right and you have a right to be upset you have a right to want better as a black woman for in your experience you have a right to feel the way you feel like be supporting us more instead of complaining about us it's just like that's how you know people really do not think about the adversity that comes with being a black woman they'll just be like you need to do better you need to feel better you need to feel this way and not be angry and not be ghetto and not be loud and not do this and do that as if all black women act the same it's not that we act the same it's that we're all we're we're put in this box to be seen a certain way that's why But we, of course, are not, not, we, of course, are not that way. We, of course, are beyond any, any label. We're, of course, beyond any label or expectation that anyone can put us in of course we are because that's how all humans are i will proudly be an angry black woman i will proudly be i will proudly be that annoying person who always talks about race because i remember how much it affected me as a kid like and maybe I'll dive deeper into this in videos, but like being a, a black girl, like it's a different experience. It's a different experience. I will definitely have to be very careful and put much effort into properly nurturing my future daughters to be confident and have high self-esteem if i'm gonna raise them in america definitely gonna have to do that oh i just had this random thought why do people do things why do people like I just feel like I just wonder like why don't people like put their all into things in life like if you're gonna be a girlfriend why don't you put your all into being the best girlfriend but I feel like a lot of girls well I don't want to say a lot of girls already do that because I am a girl and I would of course do that but 
as a man like why would you why would you not put your all into being a boyfriend like for me like i'm an aunt i have nieces and nephews i have a lot of nieces and nephews and the nieces and nephews that i'm able to come in contact with like i'm like it's like if i'm gonna be an aunt i'm gonna be the best aunt i can be no excuses i'm gonna and um i told my niece this the other day i gave her advice and i was like if i could give you advice because she's really young do the best in everything that you do in everything that you do do your best put your all into it and i wish when i was a kid i wish someone would have told me that because i kind of just felt like real life wasn't worth it anyway because i was going through so much but like I feel like you really get a lot of out of life when you decide you're gonna put your all into life like you gotta give to life and this sage that I follow said this he said that like people want so much out of existence without putting anything into existence like People want so much, people have these expectations and goals and things that they want out of life, but they don't give anything to life. They're not kind people. They're not nice people. They don't bring joy to other people. Like, I want life to treat me well, so I treat life well. I treat people well. period because i want to and because it's like if i'm here and i only get this opportunity now that i know of to be scion hardy living on earth i'm gonna give it i'm going to do my all i'm gonna give my all especially when it comes to love and loving family blemish blemish control and poor cleansing scrub should i use that or should i use my turmeric scrub first i'm gonna use this first so good One thing I can say, acne doesn't make you any less pretty. All right. Oh, I kind of hit that note. The anti-blemish pads that be burning my skin off. Yesterday I used these and it was burning. My goodness. Ooh. It burns. 
it literally feels like my face is on fire. And that's my skincare. Bye.